One of the very common complaints of the color strips is actually that they're too bright. So what I've been doing is I've been uh, testing out diffusion gels. I've been cutting them out like this. Um, found the best one that I've I worked out among probably about seven or eight. Uh, it's a Roscoe 111 diffusion gel. And as you can see, I just cut it out and taped it together very subtly, as you can tell right there. And one of the color strips, the one on my left here, is the one with the gel in it. The one on the right doesn't have it. So just to give you a comparison of how much it affects the actual uh, color strip. And it does a pretty good job. So I'll just let you look at the uh, effects here and uh, you'll notice on, over on this one you can actually see against the wall both of them are three inches away from the wall right now that there's a lot of uh, staggered colored effect there but when I pan it over to the left to my this one over here you should see that there is much less, it's a much nicer, much calmer effect. So uh, it was pretty, I'm pretty impressed with the way it turned out. Here, I'll just focus it again so that you can see the difference here. Notice the brightness also has quite a bit of a different effect. I would say it's about 20 to 25 percent more bright without the diffusion. So uh, it definitely has an effect and uh, I'll do another pan in a moment on how bright it is in front because the other big difference is when you're looking directly at the fixtures. Now I'll just pan up so you can see the effect on the ceiling. That is the one without the gel. And that is the one with the gel. I'll just pan so you can see the difference. Can see there is quite a bit of difference there. So here we go, we're looking straight on the one with the diffusion gel right now. Over here we have the one without the diffusion gel. You can see just by the way the camera is acting, it's quite significantly brighter than that of over here with the diffusion gel. I'll zoom in so you can see the effect up close. It's hard to really tell, but it definitely makes the LEDs look more bold when you have the diffusion gel on. I'm going to move it over here. I have not zoomed at all here compared to the other. You can see how different of an effect it actually creates. In real life, this is actually really bright and really hard to look at right now, whereas the one over here is much easier to look at. I can look directly on it and uh, it's very impressive. In fact, it's more bold because it's spread out over a larger area. So the LEDs show up they're a lot better with the diffusion gel on it. So that summarizes the effect, the difference between the diffusion gel and the one without. As I said, it's probably about a 20 to 25 percent decrease in brightness and creates a much softer look against the wall. So uh, it's definitely worth something to think about when you're uh, looking at the color strip. Practice and enjoy.